Okay, so, um, I haven't done a blog in a while. I mean, it's been sort of a really long while, anyway. I've been putting up kind of stupid videos of things and whatever. So, um, anyway, so, well, I'm gonna do one, I guess, about General Hospital or other random things. But, um, anyway, it's been kind of crazy, um, what's going on on General Hospital as far as, um, the, the characters and how it's all shifting and who stays and who goes and, and who's, who's leaving and who's not and all that. So, um, anyway, uh, as far as I know, um, well, I have a couple of articles, um, my newspaper, and I'm not sure what, uh, what part of the newspaper, because actually my friend gets them for me, but, um, she, uh, she brings me the articles about, um, General Hospital, because she knows I watch it, and, um, so, the first article is titled, More Changes at GH, and it talks about the fact that Wally Kurth is coming back as Ned, and that, um, a couple people are leaving and have left and things like that. Um, let's see, it says, um, yeah, that he started, that, um, he started filming and they're talking about bringing, um, Nicholas back and, um, you know, Nicholas and, or Nicholas Cassidyne and, um, who's the other Spencer kid? But anyway, oh, Lucky. They're talking about bringing him back because, as we know, Jeannie Francis is coming back as, um, Laura. And so, they're talking about at least bringing him back for, like, a couple of episodes or whatever, um, they haven't made any finalizations and all of that. And then, um, so that's this article. Let's see. Um. Oh, darn it. It won't let me switch. Um, that's this article right here. It says, see? Um, I'm sorry, it's backwards, because I, I don't know, but, um, anyway, and then, and then there's this one that I just got today that says, Hurst is safe at General Hospital, and she plays Becky, or Rebecca on GH, and it says that she's not going anywhere, but it says, um, some stuff about, um, Scott Reeves leaving, and, um, I don't know, it doesn't really give a reason why, but it says he's leaving, and then it says some stuff about Steve Burton and why he left, and how another, you know, CBS, CBS um, picked him up, and how he was willing to go over there, and then it also says... Um, th some stuff about Prospect Park and how they're bringing back all my children and, um, and One Life to Live and how the, some, a lot of the originals are coming back, but that they're, that they're still negotiating the contracts and stuff like that. And, um, I, I think this is a once a week thing where, they put articles about General Hospital in, so I think I'm just going to keep blogging about those and various other things. There have been a ton of changes on General Hospital, though, um, Eric Valdez, uh, was, um, killed off or, you know, pronounced dead, and after Connie got in a, well, let's see, it was foggy, the, the day it happened, I think it was, January 3rd, um, and, um, Connie was driving down the road, of course, we all know that she had 
Johnny hostage and he was in her trunk. And so she was driving down the road to get to the final destination, wherever that was supposed to be, um, to, uh, to, uh, let Johnny go or whatever, I don't know. I, but he, anyway, she was holding him hostage and so it was foggy and she hit Ellie, um, she couldn't see, so she hit Ellie, and then, um, after she hit Ellie, um, Star, Michael, Trey, and Christina were following behind in, in their car, trying to keep track of Connie because she had knocked out Star and a whole bunch of other things had happened, and, um, and then, so, they ended up hitting Connie's car, and so it ended up being a big car accident, but in the process, um, Trey, um, well, Christina dropped her cell phone, and Trey, I guess, took off his seatbelt to, um, help her find it, or whatever happened, but they got in a car, but Michael Starr and Christina and Trey all got in a car accident, because they hit Connie's car, and, um, and so he, uh, you know, at, at first he, they all get out and they're all okay. Um, the car is pretty banged up, both cars actually. Um, Star goes to see where Connie is and can't find her. And, um, all this other stuff happens. And eventually at the end of the episode, Trey collapses and that's the last we hear from him. And Connie ends up a couple of days later having to take him off um, life support to let him go because he's brain dead and they can't figure out whether it was an an the aneurysm that he had that caused his death or if it was Connie so um I'm not <clears throat> excuse me I'm not really sure what's gonna happen as far as that but anyway Eric Valdez is gone and you know, I know they bring people back from the dead all the time, so we'll see how long that lasts. But, um, he's gone, and, um, like I said, Rebecca Hurst is safe, um, as this article says. Let's see, article. It's backwards. Sorry, can't help it. Dumb camera. Um, anyway, so... That article says she's safe, and then, then there was, of course, this article that says all kinds of stuff about Wally Kurth and whatever. Um, Scott Reeves is leaving. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that, but as far as I knew, he was getting engaged to Lisa. I mean, not Lisa. The girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got I got character. I mean, the actual names in my head. But Lisa Lucis Rowe and Scott Reeves were, um, as the characters, Steve, um, Stephen Weber, and, um, oh darn it, I watch every day too, um, Olivia Falconeri, they're supposed to get engaged, but all this stuff is supposed to happen in any way, so Scott Reeves is leaving, and, um, I don't know, Steve Burton left a while ago, but when he left, that was kind of shocking because he's he'd been on there for like 20 years. But anyway, General Hospital is making all these changes, and some of them are, you know, for the better of the show, but I wish that the older characters um, could stick around a little bit because uh, General Hospital just isn't the same without Steve Burton, and it's not, you know... I don't think it'll ever be the same, because he's been on there forever, so, I mean, for longer than I've, for, well, not for longer than I've been watching, I've been watching for, like, 25 years or so, like, more like 27, but he's been on there for a while, and I think that, um, yeah, so, I don't know, there's just a bunch of changes coming on GH, they're adding a bunch of new characters, um, they're bringing them back a lot of the old, like, um, they, let's see, they just brought back Lynn Herring, who plays Lucy Coe, and they're bringing John, um, back John Lindstrom, who plays Kevin Collins, you know, the psychologist, um, I'm not sure who they're bringing back, but I do know 
that the characters from One Life to Live are that were originally from One Life to Live and they cast into General Hospital. Um, Kier Kristen Elderson or Elderson and um, Michael. Oh, I can't remember his last name, but he plays John. And um, who's the third one? Oh, Roger something or other. I don't know why I don't know their last names, but I guess because they haven't been on the TV in a while. But they've all three been on General Hospital for quite some time now. You know, since last year, they've all been on there for about a year. Well, I don't know. They all came in at different times almost, but not really. They sort of all came together. Um, it was Ron Ron's idea to do this, the executive producer or whatever. Um, but Prospect Park is uh, getting ready to re-announce the, the um, re-airing. I guess it, it's going to be a web series, but um, One Life to Live and All My Children are on their way back. So um, they're getting ready for that to happen, and they asked for um, Kirsten, Kristen, Michael, and Roger to come back, and so General Hospital doesn't have rights to them anymore, and so they're on their way out. Um, you know, um, I found these, I found this all online, and so, um, I'm assuming that that's what's gonna happen. I actually found this in so in, um, uh, I think it's called something confidential soaps confidential or something like that but i found it online and i was surprised to see that those three characters are leaving but since they are resurrecting one life to live i'm you know on on the other hand i'm not surprised so because i kind of figured if if they were going to do that that uh that those three characters were going to be leaving gh so, I don't know when that's going to happen, but um, enough's been said, so I know it's going to. Um, so, all that to say, um, GH is is really, really good right now. Um, I'm not too crazy about the vampire plot that they have going on. I don't know how long that's supposed to happen. It was just supposed to be a nod, but it doesn't seem that way. Although, you know, we all know how long storylines can go, so whatever um so it's it's really good right now but i do wish that they would you know stick to the character that they have and stop making such drastic changes because you know not that they make mistakes they sometimes do like last year when rebecca hurst got fired um you know we fought really hard to bring her back, and they brought her back, and all that. But um, sometimes, you know, you're just surprised and shocked at who they take off and who they keep on. And sometimes it's the it's the um, well, I don't want to say character, but sometimes it's the person's choice to leave. But most of the time, um, they they take them off or put them on or whatever. They're kind of all over the place right now because there's bunch of new people coming in and they're bringing a back a ton of the old like Felicia's back Mac is well Mac's been on and off for a long long time but Felicia's back Mac's back Lucy's back Kevin's on his way back in um let's see who else and they also brought a couple of new characters Britt Sabrina and Felix in um and and Ellie and of course, Spinelli's still there, and Maxie's still there. And by the way, Chris Kirsten Storms is um, is back and has been back for a while, and is doing an amazing job. But um, I really do miss Jen Lilly. I know she was only supposed to be there um, temporarily, but I miss her. Um, and so they make character and cast changes all the time. It's just there's a lot of it going on right now. So, um, I'm not sure what to think about some of it, but it's their choice, and, um, so we'll see what happens. Okay, well, see you later.